Hey, you know, one time I read a quote that said, a man's strength is in his gentleness. And I didn't really get that because we've been taught as men to be tough and to be dangerous. And as I, as I grow daily, and I say all the time, if you knew me yesterday, you don't know me today because I grow daily. But as I grow daily, that quote is starting to make more and more sense. Because when you truly have strength, you don't feel the need to argue with your woman. When you truly have strength, you don't feel the need to control, to dominate, to dictate, to manipulate, to deceive when you truly have strength. And when you truly tap into strength, you start to realize that you're strong enough to put someone else before yourself. You start to realize that you loving her doesn't take away from you. And you treating her with love and kindness and putting her first in the sense of leading with love, meaning being the example, it doesn't hurt you. So when you be the example for love and you say, okay, I'm going to talk to her the way she should be talked to. I'm going to listen to her the way she should be listened to. I'm going to treat her the way she should be treated. And what I mean by this is the way you would want someone to treat your mother the way you would want someone to treat your daughter. And so often what we fail as men is we don't step outside of ourselves and look in. So one of the practices that I've been doing is pretending someone is in the room. Someone is in the car. Someone is there monitoring the interaction with my wife and making sure that I'm talking to her, listening to her and treating her the same way I would treat her in public, the same way I would treat her in front of her mother or her father or her best friend. Because so often when we're not around anybody, we could change the way we treat someone, talk to someone, listen to someone, and for some people, it's the other way around. Some people, they're amazing when nobody's around. And then when they're around somebody, they use their partner as like the joke or the punching bag. So whichever way it is, you got to figure it out and make sure that you are treating your woman the way she needs to be treated. And to get to the place to where you don't feel a need to dictate and dominate, but instead you come to a place where you want to serve and you want to love and you want to sacrifice and you want to be that peace in her life, that person in her life that feels like her vacation, feels like her support, her confidant, the person she wants to spend her time and her days with. And there's a lot of hurt and pain that we cause as men. And so when you start to do the right thing, it takes time to heal those wounds. And some things will be thrown in your face. Things you've said before, it's things you've done before, stuff from the past will be brought up. But it's all a part of the process of healing. And she's talking through those things and she's getting through those things. And in that moment where your past is thrown in your face, that is also your opportunity to show growth. Because a lot of times when that happens, we can lash out. We can invalidate her feelings. We can throw it back in her face. We can point the finger at her instead of just listening, hearing, receiving, and humbling ourselves to allow that moment to happen, to allow that to be an admission 
a fault by us to say, you right. You know, I, I, I you right. Instead of making an excuse. And so in this space for a man, what I'm realizing, what I'm learning is there's a lot of strength. There's a lot of growth. There's a lot of peace. There's a lot of change. Because when you go to the place where you are a peaceful warrior, when you get to the place where you can love purely and you can love fully and you can love selflessly, you unlock a part of your brain that will help you experience another level of success in your life because humility will always take you higher or further than arrogance or pride. And arrogance comes from weakness and humility coincides with confidence. And so when you're confident, you're humble. When you're arrogant, you are weak or afraid or insecure. And so often we can operate from a place of weakness or fear or insecurity, and it makes us controlling. And it makes us huff and puff like the bit bad wolf. And we poke our chest out and we want our woman to fear us more so than to respect us. And I think that's where we fail and that's where the breakdown happens. So I'm working on this and I'm, I'm learning this and growing in this area because I, I know like myself, it's, it's a lot of men who we come from you know, just certain environments where it is what you see. You see domination, you see dictatorship and dictatorship being confused for leadership when leadership is sacrifice, leadership is service, leadership is love, leadership is selflessness. And we see selfishness, we see greed, we see arrogance, we see pride, and we see a man feeling like he has to assert his will on a woman in order to call himself an alpha male. And we see men differentiating between alpha male and beta male and the head and the tail and all of these things that really come from a toxic man box of fear and inadequacy and these emotions that haven't been processed and pain that hasn't been healed or addressed. And so we operate from that space, but it's so much power and it's so much peace in being a bigger person, meaning growing and changing and suffering the wrong and getting to a place to where you don't feel the need to compete with your woman. Instead, you want to collaborate with your woman. You're not treating her like the enemy behind the lines. Instead, you're treating her like your teammate. So instead of lying and manipulating and cheating and deceiving or whatever other form of abuse and breaking down your house from the inside out, we should start focusing on how can we be best friends how can we be completely honest, completely transparent and really form an alliance with our woman so that we can come together? She can operate in her strengths and her gifts and she can flourish and we can operate in our gifts and our strengths and we can flourish and we can come together and we can win together because two is always better than one. You know, meaning two, two heads together, two minds working together is better than one. And so when a man is a dictator, when a man is a dominator, he cripples his woman, but he also cripples himself because now he's half as wise. He's half as smart. He's half as capable because he's taken a whole brain, a whole spirit, a whole soul, and he has diminished her and weakened her so that she can't operate in her gifts and her strength because she is depleted. She is demoralized. And this is something that I feel like most of us as men do and may not even realize it. But once you realize it, 
Change has to happen. Hey, this is Tony Gasson. God bless you. We'll talk soon.